just a real quick shot. I've been laid up in bed for a week with surgery. So I already videotaped doing up the uh, two heroes. Here is the entirety of the SPQR starter set. So they are all the Celts and on to the Romans. So, I really enjoy wargaming, especially historics. So, I will be uh, putting out more videos on some of these miniatures, on uh, some of my other historic games and things like this. Now, the really neat thing about this um, set is... Um, Warlord Games actually put in decals for the shield. So you can see these Roman uh, Caesarian legionnaires have their shield markings. And the same goes with the Celts. You know, they have some very intricate shield designs, and all those are decals. So those turned out really nice. Uh, did require to use some microsol so that it softened up the decals to fit on there nice. And you had to cut out the area around the shield boss because it was a solid sheet of decal instead of a cutout. So you had to uh, make room for that shield boss to poke through. The woad markings on the Celts are hand painted. So they're just uh, put on there however I thought they would look nice. I should probably put some woad on the Chieftain. What do you think? Comment below if you think the Chieftain needs woad. So. And these are really detailed kits. So, for example, all the warriors have torques, which denote um, the uh, noble status of the warrior class. The torque is the necklace, the gold uh, neck ring that they're wearing. Let's see right there. But the archers don't have those. And they would be of a lower class, like maybe a farm or farmer class or something that's brought in to boost up the army. So that's it. That's a nice quickie for y'all, and uh, I'll be posting some more on uh, miniatures and miniature wargaming and stuff like that. Maybe some stuff in the terrain. But until next time, as always, have fun, like and subscribe, and uh, keep on modeling. Have a great day.